Welcome. In this episode, we're taking you from volcanoes in Victoria to Yanga National Park in New South Wales. G'day everyone, as you can see we are still in Victoria because you can tell by our cloths. <laughs> cloths. <laughs> we are actually camped in an old volcano crater. Obviously it's old and not active anymore but we are standing right in the crater itself. At Mount Franklin. So we're leaving Victoria to escape the cold and I can't get to the border quick enough. So we're heading towards New South Wales and we'll be up at the Murray sometime tomorrow-ish. Um, but first of all, we'll show you around Mount Franklin, the old volcano. For those that may have noticed, we don't have Cobar with us. He is having a break from travelling and he's staying with Brody and Brooke back in Melbourne. He's being spoilt rotten. He has a brand new fluffy bed. He has probably put on about four kilos already. He's living it up. He is. He's having a bit of a relax. <laughs> He's loving life right now. So we are <laughs> going to head up the east coast of Australia, um, drop in at the national parks, because now we now can, and check out all of that in the near future. Yep. Let's go. Chase the sun. <laughs> so if you've ever wondered what it looks like in a volcano crater, I'll give you a 360 degree view. It's quite lush in the middle. It's very nice and peaceful. Only a couple of other people here. We're going to go up to the top and do what they call the the rim walk. So you can walk around the rim of the crater, which is uh, 1.7 kilometres long. So we'll see you up there. Mount Franklin Circuit Walk, 1.7 kilometres, one hour and 45 minutes. Are they joking? No, 45 minutes. <laughs> Carl may be laughing now, but it does end up taking us two hours. I was thinking. Why isn't your hair dyed blonde? I don't know. <laughs> Shit, I was thinking it must be um, and these are steep. Oh, oh, redwoods. Wow, look at them. There's redwoods oh, here. They're amazing. Look at the bones. Yep. But who knows how they got here? They must be planted. They're native to America. So Carl, I believe you've been here before. I have. And you have a funny tale to tell? I do. <laughs> I was here with Brody, big Brody, my son Brody, uh, years and years ago. And we camped in the uh, crater like we've done. And we come up to go on the rim walk like we're doing. And we got about halfway around and we said, where is this volcano? Because we can't see it. We thought we were walking out here to go to the volcano. And we're like, what is going off? <laughs> then after a while, we realised that we were camped in it. Because we thought we'd just come into a valley. And we didn't realise... Totally camped in it. Look at that. That we were camped in the centre. Sometimes I think I'm smart, then other times not. <laughs> <laughs> the actual rim of the crater is quite steep. If you look down one side, you can see it drop off down there. The top is only as wide as they've bulldozed the road. And if we go over to the other side, it drops off down there as well. There's a bit of a view off the top. 
down onto the main road and across to a couple more possibly old volcanoes or who knows towards Dalesford. They're funny hey you rat bag. Oh, did you think it was a big bird coming to get you? Hey? See what I mean boy, we couldn't tell that it was a... Yeah, sort of, I can sort of see. It just goes up? Why, yeah. Uh... And up? Yeah. Yeah, it is still going up, isn't it? And you think you're just going up a hill to walk to a volcano? <laughs> <laughs> And I hadn't been drinking at all. And what was it you said just before about me being born? Okay, well yeah. I was born for a while. Yeah. Then my hair fell out. Sorry to all the blondes out there. But now I'm okay because I'm not. I'm just bald. <laughs> <laughs> That's one step up, surely. That, that was you trying to disguise. <laughs> oh, purposely shaved my head. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> In the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Up the top of the crater wall, we have found a mobile tower that's very close to the ground. And it says, RF has it beyond this point. Did your pacemaker stop? No, I don't think so. Did it go double speed? I don't know. <laughs> I'll find out when I get it red next. It'll say, it got wiped, it got wiped. <laughs> Oh, actually your eyes are glowing like Christmas tree lights. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, maybe I need to go get recal. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I'm getting tonight? Double speed. <laughs> How do you double nothing? Oh, <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> totally wrong. I assume the public once was allowed up here. In their vehicles. In their vehicles, yeah. Seems that way. Hmm. Then they put a phone tower. Hmm. And then they stopped it. I assume this used to be quite scenic once upon a time. And maybe people used to come parking up here because it would have been nice scenery. That probably explains why there is a... Pregnancy test. ...stick here. And they were... Uh, not pregnant. Oh. <sighs> Either congratulations or commiserations. Most people go down the path. <laughs> We're going on a bit of an exploratory mission to check out some stone fences, a path less travelled. <laughs> we'll see how we go. We might be walking back up the hill. In 1944, a bushfire destroyed most of the native vegetation on Mount Franklin. As a result of this, both the inner and outer slopes of the crater were planted with exotic species, mainly conifers. The crater was planted with silver birch, white poplar, sycamore and sequaceas, which are the redwood trees. Okay, I don't think this track's been used for a while. Not for a the tree. <laughs> Oh, it's the end. <laughs> Your <track sucks. laughs> I led out the garden path. Now I've got to climb back up. Now there's another track down there. Oh, serious? It is. The volcano was formed about 470,000 years ago, they reckon. The road in enters through a breach in the crater where they believe the lava used to flow out of. The Jaja Warung tribe called this area the smoking grounds obviously relating to the volcanic eruptions it looked like a track that, oh it just ended there was a track see you're good at finding the end of the road who wants to be at the start when you can be at the end and it really is the end okay we're just going to go that way Catherine <laughs> I know. My bush tracking skills tell me. Yeah, they suck shit. <laughs> it's a bit slippery. <laughs> Don't hurt yeah. your knees. Catherine? Yes. I just realised we've got a little way to go. Uh-huh. 
like about half a mountain. Uh -huh. <laughs> but we got a nice view. Look. It's lovely. It's very pretty, yes. The stone fences are to the left. I don't care. <laughs> but I did mention something. Oh, this is going to go all the way back. Confucius say, one is only lost if he does not live long enough to make it to a track. <laughs> This is the Willows Shearing Shed on the old Yanga Pastoral Lease. It's no longer used, it's now a national park. Thought we'd just take a look at it. Was working for 160 years, apparently. Still smells like sheep. It's probably 160 years worth of sheep shit underneath, that's why. Let's go inside. Magnificent condition. Strange. Got some hardwood floors and some pine floors, I suppose. Ah, oh, so they can pick the wool up easier off the pine compared to the rough sawn hardwood. Holding pins. Not that old, not super old. Well, it's 160 plus years old, obviously. <laughs> 180 now. Like That's exactly what I said. <laughs> wow. wow. It's awesome, hey? Yeah. So good. Isn't it? It's incredibly good. It's not even that worn. I don't know because if you look at the floor, like that's not even worn there. For 160 years yeah. worth of running sheep in here, unless they replace it, but I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah. It's very hard wood. You could have awesome weddings in here. <sighs> Once you got rid of the sheep shit smell. Yeah, yeah. You know, it adds to the ambience. I don't think brides like that. <laughs> oh, I'm a different kind of bride. Yeah, you're a weird one. <laughs> That is what 160 years of sheep shit looks like. We're at the Yanga Sheep Station Homestead, which is the homestead for the shearing sheds that we visited earlier. So we're just going to have a walk around here and check it all out. There is some incredible stuff here, such as an old freezer system where they used to make ice 
and all sorts of things donkey heaters for the hot water and the homestead inside is all set up as it would have been pff, however long ago 100 years ago so it's great to check out but i'm just going to sit down here and enjoy the scenery because in front of me is a beautiful lake in front of the gardens and it's lovely And people complain about the Hilton Hotel, it's not luxury enough. Australian Cyprus. I reckon these poles are redone. Sure. Original shingle roof under the tin. Oh, they've got it all set up in there with the lights on. Wow, look at the deck. Look at that, they slope the deck so that the water runs off. like exploring my grandma's old place. It's old hardwood. I did notice something very interesting and I haven't been in here yet. This is the freezer. Holy cow. Filled with salty water. This is where ice was made. Salt water has a much lower freezing point than fresh water and could be cooled to well below zero. Tins of fresh water would be lowered into the brine tank to form ice. That's their freezer. Yeah, there's liquid ammonia out here. Yeah, because to run the freezer. So yeah. they've got a whole... Oh, this it's is a whole, whole professional... The whole thing for the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So this is just what happens in your fridge, but just on a bigger, older scale. So you got your compressor. It compresses it. So that engine used to drive it. Actually, steam-powered engine did this. So they changed it to a. There's a steam engine. This exhaust. Refrigeration installed at Yanga in 1922. Oh, they've disconnected that, so it would have been a thermo siphon into the tank from the heater. What is this? A wheelchair friendly bathroom, built in the 60s. This was the old meat processing room. A bit hard to see but there's a massive big redwood stump in there. Bandsaw as well. 
all done up so flies can't get in. This is Lake Yanga that the homestead's built next to. And when it's full, they say it's 1,200 plus hectares. It's right around the homestead. <laughs> it does not appear to be excessive amounts of water birds. Let's have a look at the skulls. I did. That's a little, little, little kangaroo. Is it Colby? I thought it was bird. Mm, maybe. Could be. So in the bird hide, there's bones. <laughs> <laughs> and beer. Lucky there's no human bones while they're waiting to see a bird. <laughs> property of the remains the property of Ma manufacturer's bottle of Victoria Proprietor Limited. Look at that, my guy. MBCV. <laughs> We're going to the Yanga shearing shed, number two. Number two. And I'm excited because <laughs> it's 130 metres, well, over 100 metres long. Over 100 metres long, yeah. Built in 1900s, yeah. this one. Yeah. And the original one was built earlier and burnt down in 1896. 1896. Wow. And they can put in there 3,000 sheep. So even when it's raining, they can still shear them because they're dry. Definitely smells like oh, sheep shit. Definitely. That is a big shed, isn't it? Look at it. Gee. What happens when the sheep shit fills up to the floor? <laughs> How many shearers did they have? One, two, three, four, five. This shed can have 40 shearers going at the one time. It's the biggest shearing shed I've ever been in. Another 20 on the other side over there, and 20 here. It was driven by electric motor. Wow. 
This is when it used to be driven by a diesel motor. Or maybe steam. A wool press. That. There's another one over here. Chris Quarters. Wow. It's nearly a jail cell. And they built it all out of concrete. We'll keep it cool until it warmed up. Yeah. Then it'll be hot as hell all night. Look at it. More trees. Maybe. Wow. Oh, oh you'd be happy to have a nice yeah. bedroom to yourself. I guess people could come quarantine here. Yeah. Oh, there's more sleeping. Wow. This must be newer ones. Oh, yeah, it's cement sheet. Yeah. We've got a fan. The old bread oven behind the fridge there. Guessing that's where your fire was and that's the oven. Wow. Damper for the flu. Pantry. It's about as big as ours at the farm. Pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. I love the servery. I know. It's so cool. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Wow. I really want to live here. <laughs> nah, the other one probably was better. <laughs> okay. Must have been nice to come in here and you know, and get the fire going. Okay. Yeah, and have a shower and feed and. Look how they poured the walls. How did they even make it like that? Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. We're leaving Yanga National Park and that's near Bell Rental and we're going to head towards Wentworth Way so we'll see you out there somewhere